Hey everybody, today I'm gonna list my top 5 software for creating 3D character art. This is the stuff that I use the most for creating my characters and it's the stuff I enjoy using the most as well at the moment. Before getting into that, I want to point out that if you want to be up to date on the latest news regarding this channel or my personal work, the best place to do so is to go to Twitter, at GameDevFred. If you have any suggestions for videos, you can uh, just hit me up there as well. Uh, additionally, I would recommend subscribing to this channel because I have some really great content coming up, including uh, an absolute beginner's guide to 3D character art which is going to be a big course, it's going to be completely free and I think a lot of you are going to enjoy that one. I'm also going to have some um, podcast interviews with experienced 3D character artists working in the industry at the moment, so that's going to be great. So without further ado, let's get into my top 5 software for creating 3D character art. So at number 1, obviously I have Blender. Uh, so Blender is my go-to 3D application and it's uh, completely free. I use it mainly for 3D modeling, but also uh, when I want to do uh, pre-rendered stuff, I use I render in cycles. And there's a whole bunch of other stuff you can do with Blender, and I, I do with Blender as well. So Blender is definitely my go-to 3D application. I use it more than anything else, I think, in my workflow. Um, so then, uh, next up, we have the Substance package which includes substance designer and substance painter um, so substance designer and substance painter i think are at the moment the most powerful and user-friendly texturing tool set out there um, designer can be a little bit daunting at first it definitely was for me but it once you get the hang of it it's super powerful for altering your own materials and in general the package is really great for um, game artists for real-time artists but also if you want to do pre-rendered stuff it's getting more and more powerful so it's absolutely worth checking out it's also a really great tool for uh, baking texture maps from high poly to low poly uh, so i use that for that as well um, substance package comes in at I think uh, around 1990 US dollars per month so it's a subscription they have other uh, types of licenses as well where you pay com complete but this is what I pay and it, it's absolutely worth it uh, if you're doing professional work um, so then moving on at number three we have ZBrush uh, ZBrush used to be I think my number two at the very least maybe my number one but um, it's still my number one sculpting application. Um, but a lot of the, the micro detail that I used to do in ZBrush, I now do in Substance, so I'm just using Substance more and more. Um, but I still use ZBrush as my main sculpting application. Um, it's just really powerful for sculpting. And there's a whole bunch of other tools uh, that they have, um, like really robust mesh tools that allow you to reproject detail on, on a high-risk mesh and anything to do with subdivision, uh, morphing, and re so reprojecting and also remeshing stuff. So ZBrush is just, it, there's, it has a lot and it's really powerful. It's great for troubleshooting as well, but mainly for sculpting. Uh, and ZBrush comes in at uh, 895 US dollars, so it's a bit expensive, but they have uh, a light version of it or a free version of it, which is worth checking out and um, it's a it's a flat fee so you pay and then you get updates for free as well most of the time so uh, i highly recommend it brush as well for sculpting so then uh, we have marmoset toolbag and marmoset is an application that um, i had for a long time but i never really used it that much because i could never really find a good uh, use for it and basically it's a uh, real-time rendering software specifically for 3D artists to render and present their work. Um, so I used to just check my stuff in an actual 3D engine, game engine like Unity or Unreal, uh, so I never really found use for it. But recently I've been using it much more, mainly because they added a really fantastic um, texture baking tool in there that allows you to uh, really um, troubleshoot baking errors you might get or intersections you might get and, and fix them inside of the baking tool so it's really worth checking out if you if you have to do a lot of texture baking like normal map baking and stuff like that um, additionally i think in recent updates 
they also did some really amazing stuff with, with just general real-time rendering of 3D assets. I don't know what it is about Marvel Set Tool Bag, but for some in some way it presents your 3D model in the best possible way. Like it deals with normals in a really great way and it just stuff looks really great inside of inside of Marmoset. So I use it for real-time rendering just for for portfolio work basically and um, also just general texture troubleshooting and texture baking um, so really love this tool now uh, so then moving on we have uh, creative suite so creative suite is adobe's kind of full package it has um, photoshop illustrator adobe premiere adobe after effects and a whole bunch of other software so it's it comes in at i think uh, 52 us dollars and so it's a little bit pricey i'm so, sorry i forgot to add this but this 52 us dollars per month so it's a monthly subscription i also i think they have some some other uh, different license setups like i think you can buy just photoshop or you can buy the whole thing flat out um, but i pay for the 52 us dollars per month and it seems a bit much but it's you get so much out of it and so i mainly use uh, photoshop uh, for texture work texture manipulation photo editing um, it's just still really robust um, to the texturing manipulation tool and um, also uh, just some if you want to do some quick concepting to the concepting it's i think it's still one of the best best tools out there uh, also been getting a little bit more into illustrator uh, for just vector graphics and creating decals and brushes and stuff like that uh, after effects and and premiere you know it's just really great video editing software um, and then they have some other stuff like adobe xt which is if you want to mock up um, a ui for a game or for web stuff uh, it's really quick very easy to use and actually really fun to to work with so adobe i think they do a really great job with uh, introducing new tools and updating their tools and yeah it's just i think it's worth it if you're a professional creator uh, so i really in enjoy working with um, the, the creative suite as well so next up so this is this is my top five um, and these are just the tools that i use most but then i wanted to list two other tools small tools that i use all the time uh, so the first one is pure ref and pure ref is um, basically it's, it's um it's an image sorry it's a reference image tool so i use it pretty much on any project that i work on and it's just super user friendly you you copy paste or dump all your reference images for your project and you can organize them resize them move them around however you want and then you can save that that file so anytime that you go back to that project you open the reference uh, file and you have all your images there um, and it's really great to navigate in as well and it's free I think they only ask for a small donation but you don't have to if you don't want to so absolutely really great very useful for for artists so i totally recommend that tool and then next up there's screen to gif and screen to gif is um, also really fantastic tool it's completely free and basically it's a way to capture anything that you have on your screen into a gif an animated gif um, and then inside of the the tool once you've captured the gif you can then edit it resize the images change the frame rate add watermarks any kind of stuff like that so and it, and they get bit the tool gets better and better like it, i remember using it a year ago and then using it now they added a whole bunch of features and it, it's really great if you um it's a great way to show work in progress to clients as well like animated work in progress uh, of your work and also if you use twitter and you want to share your work on twitter this is probably the best tool for you because twitter just destroys uh, videos with their compression so you're much better off using gifs uh, so i recommend those two two tools as well um all right so i think that that's it thank you for watching and uh stay tuned for future content i have some really great stuff coming up all right bye bye